portion of ordinance number 2447, declaring an emergency and for other purposes. Uh, and the, I have a purpose, yeah, hang on just a minute. Uh, the purpose of this is to rezone properties from existing residential that were affected by the tornado to commercial zoning to the highest appropriate commercial zoning um, where it was originally written it could only be rezoned to C3. So um, is there a motion to waive the three reading rule? No. no. You don't even have to say no, you just, you just don't do it. Okay. Um, do I have a motion to open up discussion? Yes. Do I have a second? I'll second, Marie. All right. Go uh, uh, open discussion. Yes. Okay. Well, number one, when there's an ordinance like this, it's talking about another ordinance. I think it's pertinent that we have the other ordinance in our packet so we know what we're talking about. I, I agree with that because the first sentence, without whatever's in front of it, makes no sense. Right. The paragraph starts off, set applications to replant and or be on property. It doesn't make any sense without one vote. What's that? And that's a very good point. We've got a relatively new um, city clerk, and she can um, do yeah. that going forward. Yeah. 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 And Charlotte, that's, that's okay. That's okay, Charlotte. But, yeah, it's kind of it's nice that we know we want to regard this implementation of 2447. It would be nice if we had 2447 because. I'll be quite honest with you, our website sometimes lacks a little bit of desire when you're trying to look at the board. It's very difficult. Really good. Yes. So, um, would you like for, um, or show me to give you more of an explanation well, since it wasn't in the packet? No, I, I mean, from what I, just what I've gathered, what you said, so you're saying like I'm Rockington. Or kill. Are you saying you want us to go higher than C3? No, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically, what this is doing, we had some residential properties. Right. And so, we had passed that we would waive the fees associated with the rezoning right. um, if they went C3. Well, it's come to our attention some of the residential properties wanted to go ahead and be rezoned commercially. But they're Sometimes C2, for example, is the highest that they would be able to go up. It's still changing it over to commercial, but it just gives more options for C1 and C2 for those residential. Where are you getting these limits? The highest that they can go up? From the planning commission. <laughs> uh, so, so I'm a city planner. I don't like to speak to that. So mm -hmm. what the intent was, it was originally written for residential zoning districts to rezone to C3, which is the highest. Uh, commercial zoning district allowed in on my arterial C4 is not allowed, of course. So that was the intent the first go around. With this amendment, it's allowed properties um, to rezone to the highest commercial that is appropriate for that location. So some properties along Hill that were R1, um, C3 is not appropriate for this, too many intensive uses. So it would come back to the drawing board and reevaluate that. That is based on compatibility with Vision 2040. The lane use that is depicted, it's not just pulled out of the hat. And that will be evaluated in the office and we will go from there. Okay. Let's specifically I, exclude C4, correct? No. There is no C4. There is no C4 on the minor arterials that are outlined. It is Keel, Brockington, and Highway 107. However, the current map that's been developed for the city of Charlotte has C3 as possible. Okay. So that's how we got the current language has C3 as the highest level. That is correct. So why would we change it from C3 to say the highest level, which does to me imply C4. If we go back and read the language says C3, and we still accomplished our same goal. They can't so, go to C3. But so then, so let's just say up to C3 then. We can say the up to C3. Because I don't like saying the highest appropriate, which lets C4 come in as an implication. And I think that's dangerous. So my two recommendations for a friendly amendment, they're always friendly, I'm not going to be angry. All right, all the emergency calls are gone. Because we already talked about that. This has to be in there as well. And then where you wrote it down, the highest appropriate to simply say, Rezoning to up to C3, and that way they want to go C1 or C2 or C3, but C4 is out. Right. And the emergency clause is in there because remember this is set by the clock. 
This is not an indefinite process. This we are nearing the end of this process. Oh, because this had, it terminates yes. September the 30th. Okay. Which is why it needed to have September the 30th. I'm not seeing September 30th. Yes. Oh, I got it. I'm good. Thank you. I will be committed to my recommendation of Mercy Paul. Thank you. Okay. okay. I'm going to ask that today. Um, but I did not like the language to hide them. Okay. Okay. My suggested language on the third sentence, our third line of section one says, existing residential conversion up to a C3. 